Hi, today I'm excited to share with you that Cohesity has a brand new feature released called Runbook. What Runbook does for you is provides a simple way to do disaster recovery or cloud migration. Here we're looking at the Cohesity dashboard. And let's just jump right into Runbook. I want to show you how easy it is to configure. So first we go to Data Protection and go to Runbooks. Here I've started staging a few things just by simply clicking New Runbook. I gave it a title and I'm ready to go. Since I already have some stuff staged, I'm going to go ahead and start with this top one and do an edit. You're going to take a look here and see a few things. So one, with Runbook I have the ability to control what launches first. So in my case here I have a database that's launching. Then it's going to pause for a minute, this whole process, and then the actual application VM is going to launch. Pause for another minute. Then the UI machine is going to load and run, and then we're going to run a script that is tied to some arguments before we then tell this process to spin up to AWS. So let me just show you how easy it is to use this. So let's say I change my mind about that pause. I can very easily remove it. I can also re-add it just by dragging. And I can change the number of minutes to two or I can even modify this to go to seconds. I'm going to go ahead and go back to one minute. Now let's take a look at how to add a VM. If I go to VM and I go to the source for my environment, I can very easily and quickly do a search for the machine I'd like and add it. If I give it a grouping name, it's then added. I can move it around and put it in any location I'd like. And I can also do multiple machines within a grouping. So if I wanted it here, I could. And again, very easy to delete if it doesn't belong in the process. Now I need to configure my Runbook AWS target. The other thing that's going to be really important in order for this creation process to be completed, I need a profile. So essentially what I did was created a profile called failover. Failover has been pre-configured to point to my AWS region, chose the sizing, my virtual private cloud, my subnet, and my security group. Once that is all in place, I would recommend giving everything a quick save. and then we can validate. So the validation process is going to make sure that everything I have loaded here in the order with the scripts to the, the target is going to work. So we can see here on the left, I have some checkboxes next to my VMs and on the right, my validation results say that this run book is valid. So now let's run this. Let's launch some machines in a disaster recovery scenario up into AWS Cloud. To do that, I simply click Execute. I choose the profile and I click Execute again. And within a matter of minutes, you're going to start seeing these machines up in AWS. Your disaster recovery failover has already started. So let's go ahead and check on how things are going. So it looks like we have the machines mostly running and initializing. And the other piece, because of the script that we had in place and the arguments that we had in place, I did just want to call out that we do have a private IP as per what we scripted to make that happen. So how do we know that this really worked? You saw that all three servers came up in the cloud and each server did get its own IP address. Well, there's a really quick way to test. 
What we're looking at here is essentially, I grabbed the IP address for the application server. I plugged it into a web browser and it launched the web page for that application in the cloud. So now we can head over to the Cohesity dashboard. We can verify that the process successfully completed. And so we have done full circle in a matter of moments, we have created our DR runbook, we validated it, and we executed it, and we now have a disaster recovery environment in AWS Cloud.